for the uh, people who, li who really like weird things, uh, a bunch of researchers who would go tromping through wetlands looking for new species have found a bacterium, the soil, that has a fondness for sulfur and um, methane. It gulps down methane. They, they, they've seen it where they, they found this bacteria in, 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 in puddles. Uh, you know, like hot springs, you know. Hot springs, you get all the strange little uh, things growing in hot springs. Well, they, they found this on, on, on the lack of methane coming, escaping from a field. They found a bacteria in there that consumes methane, just gobbles it down. Um, which is great, considering the methane that's being released in the Arctic and, and Antarctic, if there is anything in the Antarctic being released, but the Arctic, and uh, they're growing the stuff in the lab and then spraying the stuff in across the fields. And the thing is just multiplying. Oh, goody gum, especially in the summertime. And it, if it can consume methane, turn it into something else, oxidizing methane. Which we need because we have started a chain reaction of um, climate change. And if this can regulate what we have being released in Alaska, Canada, Europe, uh, Asia, in the mountain thing, um, then with that, and of course, we don't know the side effects. <laughs> One good side effect, it's eating up methane. We can always put bacteria around uh, our gas wells, which would help regulate, the, no, I'm quite sure somebody's going to package it and sell it and say to the oil company, say, Hey, get rid of your methane this way. What's the uh, what's the byproduct? Don't know. But oh, it does eat methane. So, hmm. Hey, I wonder if we could use it for sewage plant plants. Sewage plants, methane. Wow. Oh. Or cow farms, methane. Chicken farms, methane. Oh. Oh. Potty. 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 Oh. John. 